You're watching the D.I. Dan Show, where we ditch the definitions and learn from the people we meet and the company we keep. Welcome to another edition of the D.I. Dan Show. I'm your host, Dan Steenerson, President of Disability Insurance Services, the fastest growing and most recognized force for premier income protection products. Joining us today is my partner, Vincent Benitez, Executive Vice President of Disability Insurance Services. Welcome, Vincent. Thank you, Dan. Good to be here. Thank you. Well, today we're going to cover a topic that's being discussed more and more in the news on social media and in the insurance industry, long-term care insurance. Vincent, let's start with the very basics. Talk to us about long-term care. What triggers a person's need for long-term care? Well, long-term care refers to a wide range of personal care and related services as a result of an individual's need for assistance with what we call the activities of daily living. And for example, uh, the activities of daily living can include bathing, feeding, toileting, transferring. In addition to that, it's for individuals who need supervision as a result of a cognitive impairment such as Alzheimer's disease or what's most common is the ravages of age, what I call the ravages of aging, which is frailty. There are three causes for long-term care. One of them is a disease, the second one is an accident, and both of them, of course, are statistical probabilities. We know that at a certain age, and depending on what we do, there is a statistic that we may injure ourselves. There is, there is a statistic as we get older that we may develop a chronic disease. However, aging, that's only a matter of time. Yeah, we can't stop that one. You I wish we could. Yeah, you can't stop it. It's, it's only a matter of time. It's not if it's going to happen, it's when is it going to happen, and how long will it last? Right. Well, you know, not everybody goes out on claim for every issue that's out there, but tell me, what is the likelihood of needing long-term care? Well, let me see if I can put that in perspective. Uh, the United States government uh, manual on Medicare says, this is the 2012 edition, says that 70% of Americans will have some need for long-term care at age, six, over, at age 65 and older. 70%. 70% of us that reach age 65 will have a need for long-term care. And that's care. not very old today. Uh, in today's world, it is not. No. It is not. Now, according to the uh, 2014 uh, a, a source book issued by the American Association of Long-Term Care, they had some very interesting statistics. I'd like to share just a few with you. Please. please. In 2012, the major cause of long-term care, a need for long-term care for individuals under age 65 was cancer. Really? Hmm. Yes. Alzheimer's claims, they were the most frequent claims and also last the longest. Hmm. Also, Alzheimer's claims are the leading claims for individuals age 65 or older. Hmm. I mean, that's a statistical fact that we know uh, is plaguing American society today. As a matter of fact, not just American society, but across the world. Sure. Latest statistics that show that Alzheimer's is prevalent across the world. Yes, yes it is. Um, interesting, another one, female claimants. Female claimants incur 67% of all claims, and they account for 69% of the dollars paid. I'll be darned. So if you're a female, the odds are that you're going to have a claim and you're going to use most of the dollars that the companies are paying for. Another very interesting statistic, the average attained age uh, for commencement of a claim is age 79. Remember the statistic I mentioned about uh, uh, Medicare saying that at age 
65, uh, at least 70% 70, 70 or more of the individuals are going to have a need for claim. Yes. We now know that at age 79, that is the average age where people go on claim. I'll be darned. Well, let's talk about long-term care insurance. How would you describe long-term care insurance or what we know as LTCI? Yes. Um, you know, we talked already about what is long-term care. So what is long-term care insurance? Long-term care insurance is simply the vehicle to pay the covered expenses as a result of a need for long-term care. And a need for long-term care can be as a result, as I said, of a chronic disease, a accident, or simply the aging process when we become frail. Okay. Well, what specifically does long-term care insurance pay for and what expenses, as an example, are covered under that policy? Long-term care insurance covers a variety of expenses that are generally incurred to assist people with the activities of daily living. And uh, the first one, of course, is home health care, which is the most prevalent. Yes. Uh, to give you an example, uh, one of the leading carriers, their statistics, statistics today show their initial claim, 70% of their initial claim is home health care. Mm. And the interesting part about that, at the end of the claim, whether it be as a result of death or recovery or they just simply ran out of benefits, 65% of those claims are still home health care claims. And is that because people choose to be in their home to receive care? Yes. Is that generally the, you know, what's the driver's And the there? key word you use is they choose. Mm -hmm. And sure. they choose because they have the means to pay for it through a long-term care policy. Got it. If they didn't have it, they may not have a choice. I see. Sure. So it's exactly right. That's one of the important features of a long-term care policy. It will help people make the choice that they want. They prefer to stay with their loved ones. They prefer to stay in an environment that they're comfortable with, and the family wants that until the person reaches a certain level of care that it can no longer be provided effectively, efficiently, uh, and emotionally well. And that leads me then to assisted living facility. So long-term care insurance will pay the cost of an assisted living facility. It will also pay the cost of a nursing home. So it's usually a progression. You start with home care, assisted living facility, and then last is nursing home care. It also covers adult daycare. It covers personal care, and we, I mentioned that slightly earlier. Personal care is uh, uh, helping an individual with what we call the activities of daily living. Homemaker services, everyone forgets this. Well, you know, if I'm laid up, who's gonna help me clean the kitchen? Right. Who's going to help me That's go right. shopping? Who's going to help me cut the lawn? All the things we don't think about. Exactly. Isn't it? Yeah. All the things that we take for granted. Absolutely. And those have to be done, right? Yep. Yep. So that's what a long-term care policy pays for, in addition to hospice care, hospice care services. And I think any of us who've had that experience will know how important hospice care, hospice care is. Hmm. Long-term care policy will provide dollars to cover that expense. Last but not least is respite care. Hmm. The greatest unfortunate negative consequences, consequence of long-term care is on the caregiver. It's usually the wife or the elder daughter who's providing the care. And physically and emotionally, it's draining. So respite care is just what the word says. It gives them a break, the ability to leave, take a few days off, and the company will pay for a replacement to give that person a rest. Very interesting. I had no idea that that happened. That's very good. Well, if they had retire, if the normal person had retirement savings, won't that cover the cost of long-term care? It may. It may. But you know, one of the compelling reasons for long-term care insurance is to help protect those retirement savings and other assets to maintain the style and standard of living that they're used to. And like most of us, as we get older, we want to leave a legacy. So let's say that you have $400,000, $500,000, excluding your home in, in savings, 
retirement savings and other assets. Let me give an example what a long-term care claim can do to those savings. Please do. In California today, if you don't mind, California today, home care averages about $50,000 a year today in California. This is home care. Home care. And All remember right. I stated earlier, 70% uh, of initial claims by this carrier's study is that 70% uh, uh, of initial claims are home health care claims. Right. Now, it, it was averaging $50,000 a year today. Yes. So what is it going to cost 20 years from now? Yes. And that number jumps to $114,000. Per year? Per year. Hmm. Now, that's home care. Let's look at assisted living facility. Assisted living facility today runs about $44,000 a year. Mind you, we're talking about California. Yes. And in 20 years, it's projected there'll be $118,000 a year. Remember I talked about the sequence, home, uh, home care, assisted living care, and then the next one is uh, nursing, nursing home Nursing home, yep. Nursing home care today, and this is the medium price okay. in California, it's $84,000 a year. In the San Francisco Bay Area, it's probably 110. In I the San see. Diego area, it's probably 105. In Los Angeles, it's probably 115. But the medium price right now is about $84,000. 84, all right. That's assuming I live in Barstow. That's assuming you yep. live in Barstow, correct. Now, it's projected in 20 years, that's going to be $222,000. $222,000 per year. Right. As the median. As the medium. Median cost. Median, median yeah. cost. Yeah. Now, most people that buy long-term care insurance today are in their mid to late 50s. Okay. And you may remember some of the statistics I gave you about the onset of claims. Well, if the onset of claim is going to be 870, so if you're 55 now, 20 years from now is 75, that's probably the time that you're going to incur a claim. Right. So you can't look at what it costs today. What's it going to cost me tomorrow? I see. I see. And that's sure. what people need to look at. So you may have $500,000. Yes. But if you're paying, for example, $113,000 a year for home care, and you have one year of home care, and then you have a half a year of assisted living facility of $118,000, and then you have one more year of nursing home care at $222,000, do the math. It goes fast. Awful quick. Mm. And what's left for the family? Right. Right. That's right. Yeah. So th okay. those, are, those are really uh, uh, one of the most compelling reasons why people should consider long-term care. Now, in addition to that, what does it do? It helps the family and friends uh, from the burden of providing care. I think I alluded to that earlier. I mean, providing care is a burden, yes. no matter what anybody yes. says. I'm gonna give you an example, if I may. I was doing a seminar many years ago, and I had this, uh, uh, this man in the audience. I was asking around, why are you here? And he raised his hand, and he says, I'm here because I don't want my daughter to have to do what she did for my father. And I said, would you mind sharing what that was? And she said, yes. My daughter graciously offered to provide extended care to my father, and that included changing his diapers three or four times a day. Mm. I said, I don't ever want that to happen. Mm. That could be a burden. Yes, right. uh, yes it could yep. be. The other one is to help maintain control and choice. All of us, particularly when we get older, what is the most important thing in our life? That we have some control over what's happening to us. Absolutely. And that we have a choice as to how we're going to handle circumstances that arise. And we all know as we age and as we move through life that things are going to change. So it's important for us, I believe, it's important for us to have control and choice. Last one. Uh, not last one, but the next one is to protect themselves. Individuals protect themselves um, from having to leave their home. We talked about earlier about home care. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to leave home. Right. That's true. Uh, I mean, if you have no insurance, if you have nothing, and you go to Medicaid, Medicaid's going to dictate to you where you go. Yes. And you may live in San Diego, but they're going to say, we have a spot for you in Visalia, and that's where we're going to put you. You know, I never considered that, but I suppose that's, that's, that's what they a, would do. That's a fact. Hmm. That is a fact. You, what did I say? Choice and control. Yes. If you have no choice and no control, what are you going to do? That's right. 
So right. what does long-term care does? It provides you that ability to maintain control and choice and, and select where you want to be taken care of. Sure. Last but not least, which is to me one of the most important ones, and, and Dan, as we both know, as we're moving along in age, is to preserve our independence and our quality of life. So when you look at the most compelling reasons, save your retirement funds, correct, your savings, uh, avoid the burden to the family, select and have choice, et cetera, those are the most compelling reasons why long-term care insurance is so important for people to consider. And the old insurance adage seems to apply here where you want to get this coverage before it's too late. You want to buy it when you can qualify for it by way of health. And of course, I would imagine the younger you are, the more affordable it is. Absolutely right. You know, it was a saying that I use, and I've heard, I'm sure you've heard me say this before, it's good health that purchases long-term care insurance. Mm. Dollars simply pay for it. Pay for it. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. You can have all the money in the world, all the money in the world, but you can't buy long-term care insurance if you're not healthy. If you're not healthy, that's yeah. right. And, and the other one that you said earlier is that, it, yes, it's less expensive when you're younger, but more importantly, you can usually buy it. And I've done this thing. If you calculate, if you buy it at age 40, the premium's going to be substantially less than if you buy it at age 55. Then you look over the lifetime pen, uh, payments. The lifetime payments are actually less if you bought it at age 40 than you did at age 55, particularly if you're in good health. Because if you're not in good health, you may not get a preferred rating. You may ah, get a standard rating. I see. And the standard rating may be a 25% load on preferred rates. Got it. Now, that's very important. I don't very think most important. people understand they that. They do not. And this is the key. This is the key. So when I meet with, with a couple or a younger couple, and they say, you know, I think I'm going to wait. I'll, I'll pull out a calculator. Yep. I said, let me show you the cost of wait, the potential cost of waiting. I see. Hmm. Well, you know, that's interesting. If an agent wanted to learn more how, uh, as far in terms of how to sell long-term care or even get more product information, what would you advise them to do? Well, the first thing I would advise them to do is log on to our website. Uh, our website is very comprehensive and it's specifically to the point. It will do what we just did. It will define long-term care. It will define what long-term care insurance is. Mm -hmm and it'll give them some good sales ideas. For example, we recently built in uh, for the agent's use and for everyone's use, what the cost of care is provided by two of our major carriers called the cost of care study. And this is where I got these numbers that I showed you. You simply go in there, you pick the state, you pick the within the state, the county within the state, and you press the button, it'll show you the cost of care for all the areas that we're talking about. And then you move the, the button over a little bit and it'll tell you what it's gonna cost in 20 years and 25 years and 30 years. That has to be helpful for an agent showing their client it's, what the realism you, is of you this. You talk about cl making this, the close, that closes it. Another thing that it does is of course, most people before they retire, they're considering, well, you know, I'm living in California, I wanna take advantage of my money, I may move to Arizona, I may move whatever. You can simply scroll down, what's the cost of care today? Or what's the cost of care in 20 years in Arizona versus today? I tell you, it helps you make a decision. That's how we can help people, in addition to giving us a call. Of Very course. interesting. Well, thank you, Vincent. Mm -hmm. That's it for today's edition of the DI Dan Show. I'd like to thank Vincent Benitez for providing us with important information on long-term care insurance. For more interviews, articles, sales tips, and quotes, please visit us online at diservices.com. And don't forget to follow DIS on Twitter and LinkedIn. Until next time, I'm Dan Steenerson, helping you get DI done right. Disability Insurance Services, DI done right.